Hey YouTube, this is Legit Jailbreaks, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak your iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad, excluding the iPad 2, on 4.3.4. And let me just show you guys that I am indeed on 4.3.4. And there you go, version 4.3.4 right here. So let's go ahead and jailbreak this. This is an iPod Touch 4th Gen, as you guys can see. Camera there, and the camera on the back. So what you guys will need is uh, Red Snow 0.9.8 Beta 3 and uh, this is available for Mac and PC. Just go into that little file and then open up the .exe and for Mac I think it will be like .dmg or something. So here is the window right here. What you're going to do is just browse for the 4.3.4 firmware which you can find right here on my site. Just go to iOS 4.x, I'll put a link down below, and you can get all the 4.3.4 files right there. They are self-hosted, so they're super fast. So just browse for the one that you have. Mine is on my desktop. And here it is right here, 4.3.4. Hit open. It will process the firmware and make sure that it's correct for this version of Red Snow and then you're going to just hit next when it's done slowly but surely here okay there we go IPSW successfully identified hit next it'll patch all the stuff that it needs to do patching the firmware and everything and then we can get on with what we need to do jailbreaking Okay, so what you're going to need to do is just hit install Cydia, only install Cydia, hit next, and now it's going to ask you to turn off your device and keep it plugged in. So mine is plugged in, and we are going to just power it off, and we're going to make this next step really easy so we don't get any errors. So my device is off. Now what we're going to do is hold the power and the home button for about 10 seconds. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let go of the power button and continue holding the home button until you see red snow do something. For about 20 seconds, there you go. You can let go now. And the device will go through what it needs to do and it will reboot and start jailbreaking. Usually, this little trick I just showed you guys will help with this uploading RAM disk part right here. Some people really do get stuck either in the beginning or in the end. And uh, that little trick I showed you guys kind of gets you through that. So here it is. It's jailbreaking. You know all this funky lettering is completely normal. You can go ahead and click finish on your computer. And we're just going to let the device do what it needs to do. This is a tether jailbreak, so every single time uh, that you turn off your device or uh, your device dies or anything like that you have to plug it back into your computer and run red snow again which is the next step that we're gonna do and then you'll be able to use your device again but that's the you know the only thing about uh, these tethered jailbreaks and this is pretty much for people who either accidentally went to 4.3.4 and can't downgrade for some reason or if they just bought a device like on, let's see, when today is the 16th of July. So we'll say about the 15th of the July, uh, I bet the devices started getting shipped with 4.3.4. So this tutorial is for you people. If you have 4.3.3, stay there. So you can have that jailbreakme.com jailbreak, which is really, really easy. So be sure to uh, stay there so you guys can use that. If you guys have the new device, again, this is for you, and it is tethered, so you do have to boot your device using a uh, computer of some sort to get your device to work again. And this section right here usually takes forever. So we will just wait. I'm going to keep this in real time so you guys know if you want. You can just skip ahead to the next part, which will involve the computer once again. And that step will be the step that you will use uh, when your device is either powered off or reboots for some reason. 
or anything like that. That's why I really do not like tethered jailbreaks because they're really inconvenient. And let's say you're using an iPhone and your device dies or something or for some reason it just reboots from a glitch, uh, you're pretty much stranded until you find a computer. Okay, so the device is powering back up now and then it is still going to be um, unusable as far as Cydia goes. Cydia will just crash. So what we have to do next is open up Red Snow again and we'll have to uh, boot our device tethered. So go back into the application. I'm going to go ahead. It's still booting up here. Open up Red Snow. Go ahead and uh, browse for the firmware once again. And then hit OK or open for that matter. It'll process the firmware and as you can see the device is still working and everything. City is there but it's a white icon. So we're going to fix that right now. So the Oops, I accidentally clicked out of it. There we go. Uh, the IPSW was successfully identified. Go ahead and hit next. It'll do the patching kernels again. And for this next step, all you're going to do is uncheck Cydia and check just boot tethered. So I'm going to do that now. Uncheck that and just do just boot tethered right now. And then hit next. I'm going to power off the device again and we're going to do that little trick I showed you guys. So slide to power it off, and it's still, there we go. Okay, so now it's off. Now we're going to hold both again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let go of the power button and continue holding the home button until you, red, until you see red snow do what it needs to do. There we go. You can now let go and it will start doing the just boot tethered as you can see there's the red snow logo and that is what you want and you can hit done on your computer and everything will now take place on the iPod and you will be able to open up Cydia so just continue waiting this step is not as long as the initial jailbreak part and here we go that awesome glorious sound of being unlocked there we go so here is Cydia you can go ahead and open it everything works you can choose what you are Cydia will load and let me just prove to you guys that I am indeed on 4.3.4 jailbroken there's all my SHSHs up there which is what you guys need to do especially if you're on 4.3.3 and for some reason you're doing this so you can go back down so let me just show you guys down here at the bottom iPod Touch 4G iOS 4.3.4 City of 1.1 <laughs> so that's it you can do everything you want to do in City now you now have a jailbroken device on 4.3.4 if you're on the Verizon iPhone, you're probably on 4.2.9, and this does work for you guys as well. So again, be sure to go here for your downloads that you need. Everything will be right here. The tutorial will even be right here on this jailbreak section. You can go there for the Red Snow download. You can go here for the 4.3.4 download, and the Verizon, is the 4.2.9 one is right here as well. Uh, go and hit the download one because those are the fastest downloads. Hit mirror if download is not working for some reason. Uh, we do have a fast server now on this website and it's uh, really been kicking into gear so be sure to check this one out. Hit that donate button to uh, help us pay for the uh, bill for the server hosting and everything and uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button up top, thumbs up and comment down below any issues that you have. I will be glad to help and so will everyone else that looks at my videos. A lot of people do help me out with comments and I do appreciate that. Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook fan page, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.